Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today I'm going to show you how to hoop, in this case a shirt for embroidery, pretty much on any machine I would imagine. I'll be using the Brother SE400. The Brother comes with a 4 inch hoop. I believe that's the only size that you can use on this machine. This is what it looks like right here. You can see it's plastic. I would imagine it's about the same on any machine. You can see right here it has the indicator on which side is up. Down here is the tightener and this is where it attaches to the carriage of the embroidery unit. There's an inner ring and if you unscrew this right here you'll loosen it up enough where you can pop out the inner ring and that's how you secure your fabric in place. So for this example, I'm going to start off with a test piece. I think it's always a good idea to use a test piece of material before you do your actual embroidery run. You want to get some material that's similar to what you're going to be working with. But you just sandwich it together and this is basically how it works. Now you're going to want to use a stabilizer on the back of your project to help secure the stitches. And I've got this stabilizer right here. It's a medium tearaway stabilizer. You can see it's basically like a sheet of paper, a little different texture. But you're gonna attach your material, you're gonna bind it to this piece of stabilizer. And these stabilizers come in different weights. I got a big package of this pre-cut off of Amazon. The way I'm gonna bind it is to use a spray adhesive. And I just got this at my local embroidery store with like a half off coupon off of notions or whatever so this works pretty good I use this to bind a lot of my different materials and then also not for this project but for other projects there's top stabilizer which is water soluble and that's really good like if you're working with like a terry or I found that it works good when you're working with fleece as well and those types of materials but for this project we won't need it when you're using a spray adhesive like this, you want to make sure that you cover your work area because it will overspray and get on things and make them a little tacky. Typically, I would do this on the floor away from my work area, but for the purposes of this video, I kind of had to do it up here. So you just put a little spray on, like I just did there, and then you just take the material with the side facing up that you want to work on, and you spread it out. And then just make sure that you don't have any wrinkles in it and then you're ready to put it in the hoop. And then you can see that the back just kind of sits on here nice. And it'll give our stitching some support. The end result is going to be this bowling shirt that I got from work. Uh, there was an event and we all got bowling shirts so I'm going to embroider my name right above the pocket. So for next year's event I'll be all ready to go. The size and the location of the embroidery is going to be pretty important for it to look good so you're going to want to properly measure this out and the machine I have comes with a template it's a plastic overlay that you can use as a gauge and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use kind of the lines of the shirt along with the lines of this template to make sure that it's straight and the reason why I'm doing a test run now as well is to make sure I've got the right size so that it fits on the shirt right where I want it. So now going back to our test piece that we've got here, I'll show you how to hoop that. And just to explain a little bit better, the test piece is to test the actual embroidery font size. But it's also good to practice putting it in these hoops. Um, because it gets a little tricky, especially when you've got a bigger material that you're working with. So starting off like this isn't a bad idea. But you center it in. You can see right here that I've got the hoop centered inside the square. And then I just, i got to turn this to the right side here. Um, lay it over there. You've got your arrow that's on the top, which will match up with the arrow that's on the bottom. And you make sure that they're lining up together and you just put your material in there. And then I usually start on an edge and I kind of push into that edge. You can see here I'm pushing in and I'm holding it. And then I'm just coming around and trying to get it in there with keeping the material 
as tight as possible without any wrinkles or slack. You can see it's pretty tight. And then you just tighten the screw that we loosened to get it apart. And you can use a screwdriver if you want, just don't over tighten it. And we're ready to go. To keep this video under 10 minutes, I did the embroidery part of this uh, separately, so I'll post that video soon. But you can see I've got my name there, now you know my name, hi I'm Tim. And it, that's the right size. So now I'm going to show you how to hoop up the shirt so that you get the name nice and straight. And you're going to want to follow, I'm going to follow the line of the pocket basically, but first we're going to want to take this over and get it ironed out. And we're going to want to get our spray adhesive and just a light spray, uh, make sure you shake it well on the fabric and you can also spray it on the back of the stabilizer if you like as well but I'm going to trim the stabilizer down so I'm going to hold off on that right now I just want to kind of tack it in place so that it doesn't move and then I'm going to go ahead and trim it because I want it to fit inside and the stabilizer does not have to f totally encompass the embroidery ring as long as it's holding on two sides it should be pretty good. It should be two opposite sides and I'll show you what I mean after I finish trimming this up right here. Alright so we've got it all trimmed up and I want to point out that this is the inside of the shirt that we're looking at but you can see how the stabilizer is holding on because of the spray adhesive. Now I'm doing this upside down because you have to think about how your name's going to print and how the the stitching is going to be on the machine itself and I'm going to use the pocket right here as one of the guides for my straightness. You can see now that it's ironed I've got a nice straight line to go off of. So I'm going to take the bottom hoop and slide it underneath and then I'm going to use the top hoop. On top obviously we want to make sure that we're getting it square. I believe that you can flip the font around on the machine but I haven't tried that yet and this is pretty uh, straightforward. I mean you're just making sure that your name appears properly square in the middle the way that you want to read it. So now that I've, I feel that I've got a good handle on where the squareness of this is, I'm going to go ahead and put in the, the hoop here. And as I stated before, you want to make sure that it's taut with no wrinkles. And I'm going to lead off of one edge and just kind of work it around until it's nice and tight. Now as I showed you before, I happen to have a grid that came with this. And that will give me some reference on to where the center of the pocket is and how I am in overall straightness with the shirt. And then I'll go ahead once I'm happy here and tighten it up. Now that we got it all tightened up, you can see the inside of the shirt with the stabilizer, nice and tight. And we'll show you the front, very taut, no wrinkles, ready to embroider. And we'll go ahead and put it onto the machine. Now I'm feeding the bulk of the material in the throat of the, the sewing machine. So the key thing is just make sure there's nothing underneath your embroidery hoop. To get a better idea of how to attach the hoop, you can check out one of my other videos. Well that's it. As I finish up here, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please subscribe and then you can leave your comments below. I'm Purified and thanks for tuning in to Burley Cell.